Rick Squad, what's up guys? Oh my god, I'm heading to work right now, so I said, you know what? Let me do a little vlog. Let me talk about the Conker Calf versus. Let me put some lights on. Let me put some lights on. Conker Calf versus the AFC playoffs, guys. Conker Calf versus AFC playoffs. It's gonna be crazy. We have known the con contestants. The contestants was well, this a beauty pageant or something? But guys, the teams are pretty much clear cut, guys. As we know, it's Australia, Syria, and Panama, Honduras in the mix. Trinidad has been mathematically knocked out because USA defeated the Panamanian team, so. Trinidad can no longer qualify if they won their last two games and USA lost their last two games and then they had a better goal difference. And Panama has put themselves in this position to even take the playoff spot because they lost so terribly, horribly to the United States of America last night, 4-0. It, it's like they switch off. It's like they were in the sunken place, guys. You ever seen that movie, Get Out? That's how they were playing, like, they were being controlled. Mind control, oh my God. Are the USA football soccer team using mind control on the, on the opponents? Wow, conspiracy, Dom, conspiracy. But Australia and Syria played to a 1-1 draw in Malaysia as well. And their next game, I think, is on the 10th. I'm not sure. But their next game will be in Australia. I think it's in Sydney. But they will be playing in front of close to 100,000 people. And you see how the USA fans came out in their numbers yesterday? The Aussie fans are going to come out in their numbers as well. And be like the 12th man for the Australian team. Because sometimes you need cheerleaders and you need people to push you on and tell you hey 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 what up what what you what you doing here you need to get a hold of things and you need to win this game and that's what the crowd will do you know and they need the crowd to also intimidate syria that's if syria can be intimidated they probably teach these guys these tactics of not being able to be intimidated so syria versus australia <laughs> This tie is heating up. It will be an awesome match. I, I don't want to miss this match. I don't want to. This is a potential final for another final to get into the World Cup finals. So, Syria, Australia, it's really hard to call. I predicted that Australia would win the, 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 the tie 2 1 on aggregate. And right now, it's setting up something like that 1 1 first leg away for Australia and they should win at home if Australia does not win this match at home that means that the Syrian team has defied all odds defied all odds and Omar Summer might defy gravity as well and score against Australia and defeat the mighty Aussies who are current AFC champions, former OFC champs, and qualify for the Intercontinental Playoff to play one of Honduras or Panama. Honduras, they play Costa Rica and then they play Mexico, I think. And it's not gonna be easy. It ain't gonna be easy for them. It's it's like two tough matches to get away from nine points. And Panama is currently on 10 points and they play Costa Rica so Panama and Honduras good luck to you guys good luck but one of you guys will play either Australia or Syria who you gonna play is left to be seen is shaping up to be Australia because of the home advantage but what I can tell from the Syrian team man they got fight they got resilience and they never ever 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 give up guys 35% of their goals have been in the last 15 minutes and their goal versus Australia in the first leg. K 
came in the last 15 minutes and what a goal by Omar Summa. this guy is amazing and the other guy there's another guy too I think the number 10 those two players are really really good Australia Robbie Cruz scored a good goal Tom Rogic um, Joric um, Lecky Aaron Moy all these guys are really good on the day so look out for them in front of their home crowd their girlfriends and wives will be watching so they wouldn't want to impress they wouldn't want to be embarrassed in front of their families so look out for the australians at home but it will be a great game it will be a great game panama would have averted the playoffs if they won or even draw their game but I think USA would have would have surpassed them because USA played Trinidad, USA played Trinidad, and they're gonna beat Trinidad. But Panama could have averted the whole toss up with Honduras. But I think Honduras, the way it is right now, I think Honduras should get it because Panama really played terribly versus USA, and they play Costa Rica at home, and they might just draw. And all Honduras need is a win. But I think Panama got the better goal difference. So if they draw both games and Honduras draw both games, they will take it. So it's looking like Panama. Panama versus Australia or Panama versus Syria. Will we see that? Or will we see Syria versus Honduras? Or Australia versus Honduras? Those are the matchups that we can actually see. Those are the matchups. But guys, let me know what you think about this CONCACAF versus AFC Intercontinental Playoff to see who will qualify for the grand stage of the World Cup in Russia 2018 World Cup. And let me know if any one of you guys are actually going to the World Cup. I will not be going to the World Cup for sure. I know this already. I'll be watching the World Cup from work, from home, and I won't be in Russia. I don't think about I don't think I'll ever go to Russia in my, my lifetime. It's not on my bucket list to go to Russia though. So guys, that's all I have for now. Leave your comments down below. Talk to me. I just wanted to give a quick preview prediction of this intercontinental playoffs. Let's talk about it a little. Who will be in it? Who will be in it? We see New Zealand from the Oceania waiting for someone from Carnival to play. And they don't know how to prepare for this because they don't know. Oh, let's go and watch videos of Argentina. Let's see how they play so that we would know the tactics to implement against them. They don't know who to play because we have six teams, basically six teams left tossing it up. And any one of these six teams, Argentina, Chile, Colombia, Paraguay, Uruguay, or Peru could end up in this spot. But I think Uruguay, you could put, no, not Uruguay. Um, I miss one team. I miss one team. I miss the team. But anyways, you get the point. You get the point. Chile, Argentina, Peru, Paraguay, Colombia, and who? God, why can't I remember the team? But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the little vlog. Oh, that looked cool there. Hope you enjoyed the little vlog. I'm heading to work. I shouldn't be making a video while driving, I know. And I shouldn't be making a video while going to work because I'll be running late. I should have got out the house already. I stayed home and made a sweet little thumbnail for this video. So I hope you guys enjoy and if this is the first time to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button, smash the thumbs up button, and subscribe guys. Love you guys. But it was not seven, it was not six teams left in um South America. It's five. So I actually got the five teams. You see, I'm actually looking for a team that don't even exist. Because Ecuador, Bolivia and Venezuela are out. They can't qualify anymore. So they are out. But guys, until next time guys. Peace out. Red Squad.